Good day, first world travellers, and welcome back to Mexico City. Today, I am in the centre of the city, exploring probably the most popular tourist area. That's the Central Historical District. Behind me is just one example of the fantastic architecture you can find in Mexico City. So let's take a look around. the Metropolitan Cathedral. How awesome does that look? I'm in the Zacalo area which is basically the main square in the middle of Mexico City and it's actually one of the largest city squares in the world. It's totally awesome. You've got the big massive Mexican flag up there. There is some kind of event being organized or something at the moment so I can't actually go onto the square but still even when it's not happening it's full of tourists, full of people walking about. It's brilliant and you've got all the buildings all around you. Various buildings, cathedrals, palaces, museums, universities etc it's awesome so i think we're gonna go have a look in the metropolitan cathedral now what do you say let's go Oh, I'm a bit blinded by the light now I've come outside. So um, yeah, that cathedral, very impressive, very grand. Um, and you might know from my previous videos, I actually like cathedrals, I'm being honest about that. They're very impressive, I love the architecture, how the roofs are so high, ceilings, I don't know what they call them in cathedrals. The um, general decoration is very impressive. Um, very similar to a lot of European cathedrals, I think. For example, one I saw in Naples last year. Okay, I've just taken a little break outside the cathedral. This area might not seem like much, it's a little seating area, that sort of thing. But you've got all these wonderful colourful buildings behind me, which is a really common thing in Mexico City, which I love. You have street vendors selling crisps and drinks, you have people shining shoes, and quite often you have street performances as well with people in traditional costumes, which is wonderful. And over there is like a grate above the subway, and this is one thing that I don't often experience in a lot of cities you can actually hear the trains going underneath which is amazing and over there is the national palace so the palace seems to be closed for visitors today typical i will put some pictures of it over the top just so you know what it's like but one thing i will say is that when you come to mexico city there are museums everywhere, literally museums of architecture, museums of culture, museums of everything. So I would advise maybe spending a couple of days looking at all the museums if that's what you're into because it's just not possible to see the amount of museums that Mexico City has to offer in one go. And another thing that's closed for the day, fantastic, is what's in front of me. So as you can see here, here are some ruins or an excavation in the middle of Mexico City. And if you go through Zacalo subway station, there is a like a display with what Mexico City used to look like back in the day. So I'm talking like 1300s, 1500s. You know, there's um, so much history in Mexico City in terms of excavation and ruins and what Mexico City used to be like. So um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, again, this is a great place to come. Obviously when it's open. Right, one of the things about tourism in Mexico City, at least in the historical centre district area, is that many of the signs are just in Spanish, so you will spend a lot of your time using Google Translate, but things like this behind me, you've got these sort of peepholes into underground, which show a lot of the excavation ruins from, in this case, the 1400s. This is Republica de Argentina as you can see over there. So um, yeah, and one thing I just want to say actually about Mexico City compared to a lot of cities that I've been to, you may have noticed in this video already that a lot of people are waving and saying hello. That's great, I love it. Um, you know, compared to when I was in China and uh, you know, people just walk into me because they can't see me. So um, once again, good on you Mexico for getting involved. And as you can see from this helpful sign, there are millions of cathedrals, churches, museums, you could spend uh, literally a week 
here exploring all of them. Unfortunately, I cannot get all of them in this video. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Or maybe come to Mexico City yourself. How about that? Now, earlier I mentioned Naples in Italy. And if you've been to a lot of European cities like that, you'll notice the similarities, obviously because of the Spanish influence in Mexico in terms of the architecture, the colourful buildings, but also in terms of the shopping. So if you walk a bit further out, oh, a bus. If you walk a bit further out from the centre, the historical centre, you come across all these little streets with market sellers, if you like, small little shops, potentially knock-off goods. I did buy some headphones the other day, which broke in about five minutes. Um, yeah, and also food. So I think we might end this video in the historical center of Mexico City by having some food which could result in food poisoning or it might not wish me luck okay I'm just on my way to food but I just want to point something out on the way there personally in terms of tours I'm not a sort of person that does that because I'm traveling for a long time I'm not just on a holiday but if you are on a holiday and you want to see things in an organized manner there are plenty of tours available for Mexico City so behind me you can see those buses so they're like the city hop on hop off buses that you get everywhere but you can go to places like Puebla, Cholula which is I believe the world's largest pyramid apparently according to Wikipedia Teotihuacan pyramids volcanoes amazing and it's most of them are basically 650 peso for adults 500 for children so to be honest with you particularly if you are a westerner from western countries it's affordable it's inexpensive so here's a bit of behind the scenes action right here. GoPro on the bollard, just been talking to a little Spanish kid, very fascinated by the GoPro. So uh, yeah, it's time lapse time. So I'm going to somewhere to eat at last. I came here the other day, I'm hungry. Now one thing to know about food in Mexico and drink, and I'm gonna speak from personal experience, I have just recovered from two weeks of violent, severe diarrhea. Nothing against Mexico, I love Mexican food, but you've gotta be careful in terms of Drink in the water, don't drink the water, get bottled water. You can get these massive things of 20 liters of water for 40 pesos, which is awesome. So uh, just be careful. So I'm now gonna risk my life just for you. Hope you appreciate it. So as you can see behind me, this place does everything from quesadillas, tortas, tostadas, etc. Everything you'd expect in terms of Mexican food. It's right next to this church over here. There we go. So I will put down below where this place is if you're interested in trying some authentic Mexican food. So I have gorditas, which in Google Translate world translates to chubby girl, but actually it's not a chubby girl, it's more like quesadilla kind of thing, so ready, cheesy, tomato-y with some picante, beautiful. And I had this the other day and it was literally mind-blowing because, I, you know, like I said, I've had Mexican food before, authentic Mexican food in Tijuana, and I've forgotten how amazing it was. Beautiful. So, um, let me show you. Yeah, when you think of Mexican food that you make at home in your own country, you normally think of like, chucking a load of mozzarella in it which is not Mexican food so you do have that kind of melty cheese there I don't know what kind of cheese it is but you also have that cheese which is very common um, I actually bought some from the supermarket the other day to make my own tostadas absolutely beautiful but enough talking more eating so I'm not being funny but that was absolute heaven the plate is empty just about cheese tomato onions green things but I don't really know what's in it but I don't care I'm not one of them foodies that is bothered actually I'm not even a foodie but all in all heaven um, you know I would risk the risk of food poisoning because Mexican food is literally out of this world best uh, best in the world with Italian okay eat it so even after that little bit of food I am full up this is why I'm not a foodie because even the smallest amount of food fills my tiny stomach up so anyway, that's this little look around the central historical district of Mexico City over with. I hope you have enjoyed having a look around. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and leave a, sub leave a subscribe. You know what I mean. Subscribe to this channel because this is just literally the first hello of many videos to come from Mexico City. And indeed Mexico in general. Lovely. I'll catch you later.